Today, I'll be establishing an African violet in tissue culture. Establishment is the first stage in the tissue culture process. There are four stages total, establishment, multiplication, rooting, and transplanting. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I have videos coming out soon that will walk you step-by-step step through the entire tissue culture process. The first step in establishment is to clean the part of the plant that you're planning to use for tissue culture. Now the way that you clean the plant and also the part of the plant that you decide to use for tissue culture will depend on the protocol that you're following. I use Google Scholar and ResearchGate to find protocols to use. Those are both great resources. You'll see that I'm using a magnetic stirrer to agitate the African violet leaves in the bleach solution. If you don't have one of these, you can just do this by hand. It works exactly the same. I'm using leaves as the part of the plant that I'm putting into tissue culture. Technically, plant cells are unspecialized, so you really should be able to use any part of a plant to clone itself and multiply and make new plants but some parts of the plant will work faster than others, and that's what the protocol is for. I cut my explants into one centimeter by one centimeter squares, and I'm also using the petioles of the leaves as explants as well. I'm placing the explants into media that I had pre-prepared in another video. I highly suggest you watch it. Making media is the easiest part of the tissue culture process, in my opinion, um, because it doesn't really need to be done in a sterile environment since you autoclave it at the end. If you're new to tissue culture, you can also get pre-mixed media from a company called Phytotech. That's what I did in some of my older videos, if you've seen me working with test tubes before. So I'm just placing the explants gently into the media. You just really need to lay them on top. You don't have to squish them into the media. And then once I've collected all my jars of explants, I didn't show them all. It would have been boring to watch, but I place them under a fluorescent light, um, about 3000 lumens or 300 foot candles. That's about the same. And I leave them under there for 16 hours a day. And then in six to eight weeks, we should see the beginnings of some multiplication. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.